really got this one guy from um Vampire Diaries on my wall. I have never seen this show in my life. Nobody's got enough. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl and turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my song Secret is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and everything else. So make sure to buy, stream, and download today, cause it slaps. But anyway, now that that self promo is out of the way, are y'all ready for some Love Island, for some drama, for some love, maybe, and for some heartbreak, definitely. Then you're in the right place, let's do it. It's day five and the graft is in full swing, tea. Let's find out what Alexa is up to. All right, so I guess, ooh, Tim, ooh, Allegra and that girl. And, okay, let's go talk to my favorite people, Mason, Levi, and um, Talia. It's another beautiful day. You can see several Islanders hanging out and enjoying the sunshine. Levi is swimming lengths in the pool, Mason is exercising on the lawn, and Talia is sunbathing. All right, I should spend some time with, okay. So I asked you guys in my community tab, which guy you like the best. And if you don't have my notifications on, you probably didn't see the community tab. So um, turn them on. But anyways, everybody voted for Mason. So I'm just gonna go spend some time with Mason. Mason is doing press ups on the lawn. Hi. 147, oh really, he always does this. 148, okay. You know there's a gym area for doing that, right? 149. But I guess that's not your style, is it? 150. Mason collapses on the ground, then grins and looks up at you. But if I went over to the gym, how would you all be able to admire me? Really? Not everything is about looks, you know, or I could watch you work out all day, or can we talk about something else? Um, you know what? He's actually kind of self-centered, and a lot of you guys commented that on my last video. So I'm just gonna, can we talk about something else for a minute? This body too distracting for you, is it? Really? You're a little bit in love with yourself today. Don't get me wrong, I do rate myself, yeah. After last night especially. Ew, why would he tell me that? So, about the recoupling. How do you feel about Cherry, or what about you and Allegra now, or where does this leave you and me? Right, us. I've been wanting to talk to you about that. Oh, why did he make it sound? Okay, get the tea. Obviously there's a spark there. I feel like we just click sometimes, you get me? But at the same time, we haven't sorted it out. We're always coupled up with other people. Yeah, but we haven't had the chance. So that's your outlook then? You're gonna just go with whoever picks you? Babes, I'm not saying this is easy. I want all of this to be like the time we had on the roof terrace. Just the two of us, no need to worry about anyone else. But it isn't like that yet. What would you do in my situation? How can I make up Mason's mind? Ask to couple up or make him choose or give him a hard time? Oh, I'm gonna make him choose, how about that? I think you need to get over yourself a bit before we go any further. Oh, I don't think having three girls chasing you is doing you any favors. I want you to decide before the next recoupling which one of us you want to be with. Oh, and have a chat to Cherry and Allegra too. I'm not about having them pick you and you just get to stand back and act like you can't do anything about it. Oh, okay, I get you. But you never know. I might even get to go first in the next recoupling. Wow. Well, that was awkward. Um. I don't know guys, you still want me to choose Mason? I don't know how I feel about him anymore. He's really me, me, me. Anyways, let's go talk to Tim because I don't want to talk to Miles and them. Tim Ye is a real renaissance man. He raps, he DJs, he's a great kisser, apparently. But I think Alexa might have just found his weakness. Tim Ye has stopped halfway through making a sandwich. There are utensils spread all over the surfaces and he's staring at them. Hey, hey, you know what this is? Tim is holding a potato peeler. Oh. It's a potato peeler, Tim. Is it now? And what's it for? Uh, peeling potatoes? Right, gotcha. I thought it might be for cheese. <laughs> right. Tim grabs another utensil from the side and holds it up. What about this one? Tim is holding a garlic press. Um, would I know what that is? I think I would. If someone held up a garlic press, I think I would know what it was. Or I think I would know it was for garlic. I'm gonna say, that one's for garlic, mate. Oh right, yeah, of course. I knew that, garlic, yeah. You watch for a minute as Tim clumsily spreads butter on his sandwich. It's funny, you know? It's not until you're out here on your own that you realize there's a whole lot of stuff you don't know. We're not exactly out here on our own. We're in a villa, not on a safari. Either way, I still don't know what this is. True, 
Tim is holding a melon baller. Okay, I definitely would know what that was. Does that make me dumb? Tim doesn't know what a melon baller is. Does that make him dumb? Not really. I mean, I'm gonna say, nah, you've got other good qualities. <laughs> yeah, because I'm definitely not bringing a home cooked meal with these skills, eh? Now that I've seen you in the kitchen, a romantic dinner might not be my first choice. But you do make me laugh. Maybe the after dinner entertainment is more your thing. Yeah, the after dinner entertainment. I got you. Ah, oh, Tim, what happened? So, do you want some of this sandwich? Mate, after what I've just seen, oh, did he flash me? Tim, chill. I think I'm good. You're lost, catch you in a bit. Really, Tim? Well, there it is, folks. Timmy's one weakness is at the traditional family game of what's this object? Ah, uh, I mean, cooking. He's not very good at cooking. Wow, okay, anyways. Fortunately, that's not a skill that's really being tested in Love Island, but I think he's just ruined his chances of a recipe book deal after the show is over. T. And last but not least, I guess let's go talk to Miles and Allegra. I don't like either one of them. Allegra and Miles are sitting close enough that a slight breeze brushes her hair onto his shoulders. Oh, hi Alexa. How are you? We didn't keep you up last night, did we? Allegra's asking if they kept me up last night. No, I didn't hear anything. Or yeah, it was really annoying. Or what, with your snoring? T, I'm gonna say, nope, I didn't hear nothing. Good. I was worried I might have been a bit excited. Ew, if you know what I mean. Ew. Nope, don't worry about it. I guess I slept through all the excitement. Allegra gives you a side eye, then tries to change the subject. T, so how are things working out with your new fella? Allegra wants to know how things are going between me and my partner. Great, or so far so good, or it could be better. I'm gonna say so far so good, you know? Allegra nods. I mean, obviously it's not going at the pace that we are. I don't care. But that's okay, honey. Not everyone clicks straight away. Ew. Not like me and this gorgeous man here, anyway. Miles isn't saying anything. You can't fake a connection like that. Really? Can you fake a connection like Allegra and Miles? No, I guess not. Or you guys do seem happy, or are you sure about that? I'm gonna say, are you sure about that, just for some banter. Wow, why isn't Miles saying anything? It's a real lust at third sight story. What do you mean? Now's my chance to tell her what I think of her and Miles. Um, I'm gonna keep quiet. You know what? No. Oh, nothing. Allegra raises an eyebrow at you. Ooh, nothing. That's what you came up here to say to me? Ladies, please. Now, I know I'm good looking, but I don't think there's any need to fight over me like this. We're not fighting over you, buddy. As if. Miles is smirking, enjoying this far too much. Allegra steps off slightly. He's right, babes. We shouldn't let the drama get on top of us. It's been a tough couple of days, and it must be hard for everyone else to see such a strong couple out in front. But I shouldn't let that sway me. It's on me to support the rest of you girls, now that I've found my winning teammate. Oh, really? Ew. Well, I am really looking forward to your help. But I've just remembered something else I needed to do that isn't talking to you guys. Oh, bye, honey. Miles said like two words. Someone's been grafting hard. You've chatted to everyone. Time to see what happens next. Let's go. Hold on, Miles didn't say anything. Next time on Love Island. Things get creamy and messy, ooh. As the Islanders play a game of pie it off. Oh. And Alexa faces her biggest night in the villa so far. What is gonna happen, y'all? What you think is gonna happen? So dang. Um, Allegra's trying to make it seem like Allegra and Miles are the best couple in the house, but Miles didn't say anything when I went to go talk to them, so I don't know if that's true. Also, we didn't even see Erica in this episode. Oh, I miss her. She hates me, but I miss her. But anyways, guys, if you think I should go for a different guy, let me know in the comments because Mason's kind of getting on my nerves, y'all. What should we do? Should we stir up some more drama? It's up to y'all. Let me know. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. Let everybody know about this love island tea. And make sure you buy a stream and download Secret because it slaps. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. And may God bless you every step. My butt literally fell asleep, like from sitting too long. That's wild.